So a warm round of applause for both these uh, young girls. Nopapa and the Chiwakan, just 16. But Laura Robson from Great Britain, just 14 years of age. And she'll open up this final. It's a very smooth, well-produced serve that she has. It's almost effortless. A few double faults this year's championship, Robson. That number 34 of the championship. Just on the sideline from the Chiba Khan. Never easy playing someone who hits double-handed off both wings the toughest thing is you, you can't really read where the ball is going yeah. well, given the amount of nerves and butterflies that would have been in Laura Robson's stomach as she stepped up to serve that was a, a hugely impressive opening hold Yes, I wonder if she saw the papers today. I mean, not just on the back pages. She was on the front pages of many of them. Hopefully, she hasn't seen them, really. But if she did, I have a funny feeling she could Miss handle it. Number one, yep. let it to Fifteen, love. Well, my first uh, reaction to Lechiwa Khan's serve is that it's awkward, it can break down, and you can certainly get on the second serve. Low, hard and flat, that's how she plays her tennis. I was uh, asking quite a lot about Robson uh, before I really saw her play the first time. And a lot of people said, oh, you know, she has a really good backhand, but her serve and forehand need work. It looks like that work's been I done. I think the work's been done, hasn't it? And that was only a few months ago. 30-40. Break point for Robson, first of the final. Robson leads by two games to love. That's it. Dara, Dara, just a second. Can I get 
Ball, we might just have one extra ball or one ball short. And she's got a real width to her tennis. I really feel that the, her left-handedness helps her do that. She can uh, play wide very easily. It's natural for her. Only areas for Robson where I see that you know she's going to have to work on a little as she gets older. It's just coming out of the corners. Uh, doesn't quite have the physical strength in her legs. 14, you, you wouldn't expect that at all. fault from Robson. A couple of points here for the Chira card to break back. It's impressive hitting. It's effortless power from Robson which is what's so impressive. I always feel she's looking to do something with every ball 13, from 40. the Chibacana as well, I think trading extremely well. I mean, this is a junior girls final. This this could really be first round of a tour event or final of a challenger. That's that's the level that these two are playing at. Go. Juice. Throughout this, uh, the draw, she's been pretty tough behind break point. She's only been broken six times so far. I mean, that is a, a terrific effort when you think junior girls tennis that you know, usually break, get broken every other game. That is a very respectable second serve, 92 miles per hour. 
advantage there are Robson. plenty of women on the main tour that don't get it over 75 80 miles an hour Yes, overruling on the baseline, and Robson holds for the three-love lead. And let's just see if this overall was correct from the umpire. Yes, it was inside the baseline. Again, you just uh, sit back and you watch Laura Robson, and you remind yourself that she's still 14, but in the back of your mind, from what we've seen of past champions at this level the likes of Ivanovic and Sharapova and Moresma all won the girls singles title this girl is quite special well I think she's on track and I think we should get everything into context if she's going to be a top player you kind of need to winning a junior slam at 15 16 the very best junior in the world who's 15 is a girl called Michelle de Brito of Portugal who trains out in the States and she was winning she went around at the Miami event this year beat someone ranked in the top 30 and she's only a year Time. or so older than Laura Robson former champions here Caroline Wozniacki as we see uh, your old coach Nigel Sears and, and she was at the LCA Reggie Draper Caroline Wozniacki, the 2006 Ladies champion, well, she's top 30 now, and she won at 16. So you have to crack on. Side Roger Draper and there to Draper's left our right Carl Mars who's the head of women's tennis <laughs> and Robson I think Sam will be a, will be a nice little test for this uh, new setup that they put in place they don't want to spoil Robson too much but they also need to be able to nurture her and guide her at the right moments Yeah, I think that's been the big dilemma in British tennis for ever since the Wimbledon money started coming in in the mid 1980s, giving the players what they need in terms of coaching, nutrition, physio backup, but not taking away their hunger. And so far, it hasn't been it hasn't been done successfully. Robson. 
smooth is a good word. There doesn't seem to be really any glitches in her swings, and as a result, it doesn't seem to matter whether the ball is high or low, where the strike zone is. She's got a huge strike zone. Robson uh, pre-Wimbledon oh. made the final at Roehampton and arrived here thinking, well, maybe a couple of rounds. I know that I'm playing well, but this has all happened very quickly for Laura Robson. talking about when she's really pulled really wide she doesn't quite have the strength in her legs yet and she I mean she will get that in a, a few years time it's not something that you, you can really rush but uh, if the tuba can can get some angle out here and some width it's, it's going to cause Robson a, a little bit of trouble just missed very close very close John. <laughs> Miss Robson He's challenging the call on the left far line. Well, it's the first time in Robson's career that she's using Hawkeye. I think she's finding it strangely amusing. Is she right? No. <laughs> Lovely reaction. No, serve after 17 Mr. minutes of play. Three and two, first sets. Mr. Robson has two challenges remaining. Talking about backup from the LTA and financial support for the Chiwakam, Sam, receiving support from the ITF and yeah. their touring pro yeah, program. Yeah, exactly. That's the International Tennis Federation. They raise a lot of money through the Grand Slams and various other organizations to allow a lot of countries, developing countries that don't have a, a big history of uh, tennis and they don't have a lot of money. It helps uh, players such as Cara Black, the doubles champion here from Zimbabwe, and, and players from all sorts of parts of the globe. You wouldn't expect tennis to exist, and, and she's getting a lot of help from them. And the future is looking pretty bright at the last 70 minutes is anything to go by. One break of serve apiece, the Chiwa Khan at 2-3. of what we've seen so far from Laura Robson, just 14 years of age. Lifts just five minutes away, Robson, so is able to walk to the courts today. Certainly, the Chiwa Khan's second serve is an area that Robson has been uh, making headways on. It's uh, not that fast at all. Fifteen, thirty. Well, Chris, if you'd have told me on the second Saturday of Wimbledon, I'd be sitting on court one, watching the the girls' singles final with a British girl in it, and it would be packed. I would have. Uh, 
Well, I would have been very surprised. Right. But I'm very pleasantly surprised right now. Chiwa Khan, 16 uh, years of age, seated three. Robson in the draw, courtesy of a wild card. Everything we've seen so far from the Chiwa Khan, yes, she has uh, more holes in her game than uh, Robson, but she's a. Uh, you know, a young girl that uh, looks like she has to be beaten. Game, Miss Lechimakaran. Certainly not giving it away here. And absolutely not. Three games all, first set. The opening three games went to Laura Robson. And then the Chimakan with her own run, levelling up this first set. Certainly just uh, dropping off from the high that we saw in the first three games, Robson. Yes, and also Lechiwa kind of, I think, just has, has got over the fact that court one is almost packed and she's settled down as well. 15 on. First days from Robson. It was a wonderful moment when both girls walked out this afternoon. They both looked up and thought, oh my. Court one and a full house. Because <laughs> in, the, in, the, in the corridor behind the court, they wouldn't have realised how packed it was. as Mother Cathy looks on. New balls, please. Miss Robson leads by four games to three. First set. It's been 24 years since we last had a British junior girl in the Wimbledon final. Annabelle Croft, back in 84, won the title. And I suppose it's important with all the coverage that Robson has received over the last few days, back and front pages of all of the uh, national newspapers, not to get carried away and just try and keep it in context. I have a feeling, though, from watching her press conferences and everything I've heard about her, she was signed by a management company at nine. She seems to have a very tight family unit behind her. She's got people like Carl Mars, head of women's tennis, who has already taken Kim Kleisters as a 14-year-old into the top ten. She seems to have this terrific support unit. She's going to have a lot of pressure in the next few years, but she might as well get used to it. And if she's going to be a top player, and all the potential is there, she really needs to be at this level at 14 or Time. 15. Otherwise, you really don't have too much of a chance. Oh. 
Love 15. Oh yes, oh, <laughs> that for a forehand. Effortless power from Robson down the line. Well, Robson isn't exactly standing up on these rather slow second serves. They're only about 70 miles an hour. But what she is doing, she, she's taking a cut at them now, really going after them. 15 and 30. Quite a, an awkward serve, the Chiwa Khan. It's about four or five kinks as the racket goes back. <laughs> it starts the point, doesn't it? Very much a junior serve. It's almost uh, robotic in its production. Oh, dear. 15, I, I think she can give the, uh, those coaches that are very keen on biomechanics a few headaches, couldn't she, <laughs> with that action? Yeah, she'd do well to smooth this one out. Third double fault from Lechiwa Khan. A couple of break points for Robson. Smartly taken. Yay, Miss Robson. Miss Robson leads by five games to three, first set. Once again, this uh, oh-so-smooth forehand from Robson gets the error. And she'll serve for the opening set. <laughs> Bad bounce. 15, love. Yeah, I think we'll have to give her that one, won't we? I mean, actually, she's got great timing, Lechiba Khan. She feels terrible. She's very aware now how full this place is. This is nothing worse than whiffing a ball in front of <laughs> 10,000 people. Dirty love. Especially when you're just 16 years of age, it can dent the confidence. When Robson actually misses, I don't feel they're bad misses. I feel that she's always trying to do something with the ball. She's always looking to transfer her weight, get inside and up the court. I don't feel there's too many wasted shots out here. And she should get a first serve, shouldn't she, here, Robson? I think so for the delay, yes. And a couple of set points.
you like, Sam, about that opening set it, as we look at the statistics is that Robson came out firing very quickly, raced to that lead and then got pulled back and thought, well, maybe there she may wobble, but then she just regrouped very quickly and then, then pressed on again. Yes, and um, all the set statistics really excellent for, from Robson. No real major holes in there. Terrific, great point conversion. Hits a high number of winners. But yes, I mean, she could have backed off, but that's not really her game. There's not a lot of compromise to her game, but I don't feel it's unsafe. I always feel when she's going for winners, there's some there's something built in there that pulls the ball in. I don't feel when she misses, she misses by two or three meters. And you, know, you have to look at 14, her, the control of her emotions out here is excellent, the control of the nerves. I'm sure she was nervous last mm -hmm. night, this morning. She said she didn't sleep at all last night with almost excitement, really. And uh, I think the members here are very excited because Anne Jones, who's sitting in the little members section, um, just to the, the right uh, of our commentary box, it's packed. They must have legged it over very quickly <laughs> after the women's final. There they are. Second six. Nopawanda Chubakan to start number six, six, two. Fifteen, love. Robson originally comes from Australia, was born in Melbourne, moved to uh, Singapore at 18 months of age, and then from there arrived on these shores at the age of six. Fifteen, and thankfully, if that back end to go by, uh, we'll remain here and we'll continue to represent Great Britain. Yep, we'll, we'll take her, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> Chiwa Khan doesn't quite have that safety built in. It, it's a little more hit and miss, but when she uh, lands one, it's very good. Juice. Just didn't quite get the feet to that backhand, Robson. So a couple of missed opportunities at the start of this second set for... 14 year old. Advantage, Miss Robson. Fourth double fault from the Chibacan, just 69 miles per hour that second serve. First game, second set. No doubt uh, a proud mother there, Kathy, former pro basketball player. 
Oh, Chris, I'm trying not to get incredibly excited about the Robson. She is only 14. I think the hype is going to be huge. Uh, Karl Mars is in charge of women's tennis. He has a rather sobering statistic for women tennis players and juniors. He's done this study, and apparently at 15 years and nine months, if you don't have a decent WTA ranking on the professional tour, you, um, you're, you're really going to struggle to make it up there. That just uh, gives you some idea of uh, the steps that Robson has to take in the next couple of years. Let second service. Low fifteen. Where's that wristband? Which is uh, a charity which uh, supports uh, promotion of sport for for young kids in the third world. Fifteen on. There's uh, Martin Bock. He's been looking after Laura Robson. Just didn't do enough with the volley. Hasn't really been into that area too much this afternoon, Robson. This isn't junior tennis, 15, not, not as I know it even a few years ago, where a lot of the girls would be just trying to get the ball in court, not make any mistakes. These two, you know, they're, they're pushing up, they're going for winners. This is, this is almost mini pro tennis here, maybe without quite so much power. through this match so far when Robson 13, gets control 14. of the point she very rarely produces the error as you said Sam very safe that one a foot foot and a half inside the sideline game Miss Lechimakar long in all second set A break of serve, maybe, but no damage done. One game all. The second set, that would be how Robson should view it. Talked about uh, Robson's maturity, but I also feel that the Chiba Khan, okay, not such great shots, but you know, she looks like a young girl that's got her head together out here. Where'd you love? Hasn't shown really too much facial expression at all, has she? She's just uh, got a very good game face, very tough to read. Not the 
pace of a Robson forehand, but uh, certainly accurate from the Tuba Khan. Forty thirty. Conditions today warm, but a little blustery. Doesn't appear to be uh, affecting either of the girls out here. So after a break of serve apiece at the start of set number two, we're on serve. Opening set, Miss Robson 6 3. The Chiwa 2 1. Second set. First set, Miss Robson. Sam, this will be a good test for the new regime that the LTA has put together under Karl Mars and Nigel Sears and, uh, and Roger Draper. They have a, a bright prospect here, somebody that will need nurturing and guiding. And really, that they can't afford to stuff this one up, can they? No. <laughs> and I'm sure they're very aware of it. I have to say I've got a lot of faith in Karl Mars overseeing the programme, having taken Kim Kleisters, you know, to the top ten of the world as a 14-year-old. A lot of experience. Um, there's lots of things really that Robson will have to go through in the next years. But I have to say, the new regime has been great for, for women's tennis and, and also the girls as well. Yeah, it certainly looks like the women's game at least is starting to turn a corner. Fifteen. Of Environment is, is just so important. I have to say, I'm quite envious of uh, Laura Robson. She doesn't have to go to school, but she has homeschooling, which is very important. So she can uh, combine her tennis and her studies. Ah. 30 love. She never hate, hates, never hesitates from taking on the floating ball. Wind just picking up here. A couple of big gusts. Lots of dust along the baseline. Yeah, it's quite warm those baselines after two weeks of play. Quite difficult sometimes to uh, keep your footing as well. from Laura Robson. Two games all, second set. Really uses the advantage she has, I believe, of the left-handed serve. Cuts the ball nicely, plenty of movement in the air and off the court. Come <laughs> on. 
Love 30. Well, the more Robson realises that she attacks first and second serve, the more she's going to really get into Lechiba Khan's head. And that's before we've seen Lechiba Khan on that uh, rather lumpy serve she has. 15-30. That's Mother Cathy. Fifteen forty. Hawkeye still in operation, even though this is a, a junior match. The Chiwakan thought about uh, a challenge, but thought better of it. Break point for Robson. Thirty. That's very good from the Chiwakan. Anything that she can get on her racket, she always has a go at, and it's tough to read as well. Two hands on uh, both sides. Robson leads by three games to two. Second set and by one set to love. So starting to look pretty good for Laura Robson at the moment. A set and three two with a break. Interestingly, Robson, with the exception of Maria Sharapova, is ranked higher among the juniors right now at number 36 than any of the present world top ten with they or her age of 14. Well, it's quite something. She's definitely uh, on track as Robson. And what also I find absolutely thrilling is that often with, with players that become top players they tend to suddenly get it all together they don't grind their way up junior rankings or senior rankings they suddenly burst on the scene now this has come out of a, a very successful six months but it's almost suddenly as everything's clicked and put together and she's gone on the good run and she's her head Time. is good enough to cope with the run she could have been maybe satisfied with quarterfinals or semi-finals but this feels i think as if she expects it yes natural Certainly the way that Robson holds herself on and off the court is Wait, please. maturity Wait, please. beyond her years, really. Don't want to hit too much more pressure on her, but I have to say, it looks wise. Well. She does look like a young Anna Ivanovic, doesn't she? I'm sure a few people have already said that. Same sort of hairstyle and same sort of colouring. 15 all. If she get, ends up getting her contract, she'll be doing very well. <laughs> Yeah, she's certainly an agent's dream, isn't she, Laura Robson? Fourth double fault. On one of the outside courts the other day, there were 10 or 15 agents, all from different companies, just watching her play. Fifteen. Yeah, and I don't think I don't think it's a deliberate thing or a conscious thing, but she's done well when she's uh, got some width and some angle with those returns and just see Robson she are struggling to, to hold her body shape there.
Oh, she plays better behind the break points, not worse. There's nothing forced about that shot at all, is there, from Robson? It, it's all within her power range. Advantage, Miss Robson. Let the six. making from the Chiba Khan. She's uh, not making life too easy for Robson out here. Even though Robson, you feel, is in control and has momentum, there's uh, quite a lot of work to be done. Advantage. starting to go for her shots a bit more trying to dictate the points rather than letting Robson seize control Junior is definitely uh, setting a few problems out here for Robson. We'll see what a, a problem solver the uh, young British girl is. Third break point of the game. Game is Lechibakari. It's a shame. Williams all second set. Rather snatched at that second serve, Robson. Remain on serve. Nerves will start to play a part as well, I think, now for Robson. So close, yet in some ways so far. to do with this and uh, like so many of the juniors didn't quite understand where to to move to just got a little stuck in the center of the court but that's uh, completely understandable 30 love Game 
Miss Virtual Carmen. Nibos, please. Miss Virtual Carmen leads by four games to three. Second set. Similar to this uh, middle part of the second set to the first, where Robson just lost her way for a couple of games. Yes, I think you know, it really was almost going to. Uh, she could have really, really done with it with that, with that break to go for two. But uh, certainly, Phil Robson playing certainly the better tennis of the two out here. Well, the Chiwakan's proving difficult, isn't she? She's not going away, which is quite strange for junior tennis. Just quite often, you get, that's really the big difference I think nowadays between juniors and the pro game is that quite often when you sort of get a set and a break up in junior tennis, that you know the, the player that's losing tends to kind of fall apart a little. That's fairly normal but she hasn't done that I think she's got a very cool temperament uh, certainly there's some there's some fire in Robson and as long as it's channeled okay she'll definitely be all right time yes just uh, the odd sign or two of frustration starting to seep into Robson's mind and game so again an interesting part of this match of Robson where you just sit and watch and see how she handles this stage. Tennis from the, the Chubikan because she takes the ball early and she hits it hard and flat. She's just taking a little time away from Robson. This is tough to play against. going for those second serves, not backing off. Two with a break. Robson has just gone on a bit of a, uh, a mental wander, and the Chiwa can't threatening to capitalise. Very quick turnaround from the Chiba Khan. Got to give her credit for that. It's 3 2 down and then a run of three games. And the uh, 16 year old from Thailand will serve for set number two. Well, 
Lechiwa Khan appealing. Lechiwa Khan is challenging Cole on the right baseline. The ball's good, good. Is this all uh, very new for these two uh, young girls out here? Never used Hawkeye before. I bet they're loving using it though, aren't they? Yeah. It was out. <laughs> By one millimetre, apparently. 15 of. Yes, you can sense it, can't you? Just love to see her getting up the court a little bit so that you can't just see her and see the pressure on the second serve. Didn't need to there, but that's something that um, I'm sure she'll learn or her, her coach Martin Bock will say when they watch the tape of this, you know. That's the next step. Little things will uh, make her a better player. Set point for the Chiba Khan. Lachiwa Khan is settling into the routine she quite is. nicely. Duck yes. to water. No problem at all. Obviously felt good off the strings. And it was good. <laughs> Robson kicks her racket away in disgust along the floor. Well, so we'll play the point again. It remains set point for Lachiwa Khan. better hasn't she in the second set yep. that she can't and her finishing has been excellent and her accuracy has been uh, top drawer as well Set to Lachiwa Khan 6 3. So what lessons can Robson take out of 
that second set a break up a set up and then just suddenly just all f fell apart quite quickly yeah it's just one or two points though wasn't it really um i think she has to somehow have the maturity sometimes you have to accept that your opponent is is playing extremely well and that, that's what the, the chiva khan did there to say i was chatting to one of the agents uh, just before this match uh, I'm sure he's out here watching now, and he was saying that he watched uh, Laura Robson in a big final out in the in the States at the end of last year. Remember the old Eddie Herr tournament before the World Championships? Or, and, if, and it was funny, he said that she was uh, winning that very easily, a set and maybe a break, and, and he went away because he thought it was all done. He thought she was great. It was the first time he'd seen her. And then when he came back, it was deep in the third, and she finally actually time. she won it. Um, so maybe this is something that's happened to her before, so she has the experience, and we'll see if she can deal with it. Final set. Ms. Robson to serve. So Laura Robson will uh, serve at the start of the final set. Looks to me as if Lechiwa Khan doesn't mind Robson coming at her with power. She was still no, moving. You see the top players do that, someone like Svetlana Kuznetsova, they've usually got one leg anchored to the floor. Just wonderful racket work. Ah. Then Chris, win or lose this, this final, I, I still feel that she's uh, in with a good chance here, but win or lose. Unfortunately, the hype around Robson, is, you, I, don't think it's, I think it's going to be unstoppable, isn't it? Yes. Because I think there's an awful lot they can do about it. see her sort of next month on the cover of uh, I don't know Jackie magazine do you know Jackie magazine just can't, 17 you know the teenage teenage magazines can't uh, I've ever read it so I, no. I can I can see her sort of being the, the new pinup okay stop, stop laughing at me <laughs> Final yes, you feel that, that, that one word Robson will have to uh, learn and learn quite quickly is the ability to say no. I'm not doing that. I won't take all the offers that are going to come her way. Him and Hill enjoying the fair at the back of court one. And I think that one word will be very important. A few years' time might be Robson's Ridge. Well done, Sam. Still smiling at me. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's Robson's hat just falling off. Now we'll replay the point in this instance, but if it happens again, then the point will automatically go to the Chiba Khan. I wonder if uh, Robson knows that. I mean, she is so young, she might not know. 
Vladimir Erg from Serbia in the chair. Just there, the mm. left foot going from underneath that. No, this is more of what we saw from Robson at the beginning of the first set. Come, coming out and crisply hitting the ball to a good length. Well, Cathy, I'm sure, feeling the nerves. Excited for a moment until they saw the Chiwa Khan with plenty of time on the ball. 15 40. Did well the Chiwa Khan because they're already celebrating this court one crowd. Not <laughs> easy to play through the noise. side of Lachia Khan's racket and Robson with an early break. This Robson leads by two games to love. Final six. that you would come with two hands on both wings. Yeah, just something that uh, Robson feels a little, you know, she just finds it a little hard to deal with. She's a lovely, smooth mover, foot, feet, foot were very good, but she's not a powerful mover yet, and you, you, can't, you cannot expect that at 14. Fifteen thirty. The wind certainly playing a part. Double fault number seven. Ah. 
Thirty forty. Break that point for the Chiba Khan. So he's going to do the damage, really. Robson maybe he's just slightly unsettled by the, the dust swirl of the wind here on court number one. Yes, because she wouldn't want well, to would have played on this this kind of stadium before. So it's understood. I have to say, I don't really see any problems with the Robson serve. Why she's a little heavy on the double fault side? Maybe just doesn't get quite enough topspin over it. Uh, loses a little control. Just one of those things. I'm sure that will be worked on over the next few years. The game is there, isn't it? Well, the foundations, absolutely. Oh, which you absolutely need to have because at uh, 14 years of age, I can remember seeing Arantxa Sanchez, was in Arantxa Sanchez and not Vicario on the end of it, Conchita Martinez, and their games were completely there. I saw Steffi Graf at 13, who Time. was absolutely brilliant. I don't think you can really compare you know, someone like Steffi, who was you know, ready to go at that age, but uh, certainly around the sort of Arantxa Conchita standard at the same sort of age, and, and Paul Mars said very similar to King Classes at 14. You can certainly see maybe in the not too distant future that Robson will be playing in the main draw here at Wimbledon. She does win here this afternoon. That puts her in the frame to be considered for a wild card into the main draw next year. Senior championship. Fifteen all. The line judge called it out. I thought that landed plumb on the line. Mm, it's right in front of our commentary box, isn't it? Yep. Well, it may not have been plumb, but it was <laughs> good enough. <laughs> Fifteen thirty. Short. 
stops and breaks again. Pulls away to a 3-1 lead. Miss Robson leads by 3-1. Final set. Thank you. Just needs to hold here, Robson, you think, just to really, just to reaffirm the break. Next versus. Serve about 100 miles an hour. Easy power that she has. goes back to the National Training Center and gets back with her coach uh, Martin Buck. I think we know exactly what uh, Robson's going to be working on for the next stage of her development. I think it's pretty obvious. break of serve all the lenses pretty much pointing Robson's way Miss Robson. Caught one crowd living and breathing every stroke right now. Any ball that lands close to Robson's baseline, their gasps.
Mace Rubson leads by four games to one. Final set. It all starts to get rather exciting now, Sam. <laughs> Well, what I liked about her there was she's definitely a little nervous, but she was able to hit through the nerves and manage her emotions. And I think a lot to do with that is accepting it. And she said after a semi-final, yes, yeah, so there were patches that where I was nervous, rather than saying, no, 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 I wasn't nervous, you know, everything's fine. She said, no, I was nervous, but, you know, I hit through it. And I, I think she trusts her game. We talked about what's happening in women's tennis uh, at the National Tennis Centre with uh, the coaches they've recruited and uh, she trains them and she even has at 14 a nutritionist which she should have actually yeah. i mean i couldn't imagine having a nutritionist i don't think i ever had a nutritionist perhaps i should have had one but at 14 you know, she, her favorite food is pizza but she's not allowed to eat too much of that i mean she's got everything that maybe sharapova had or the top players had at the right time yeah she fancy when venus williams opens up the papers tomorrow and if robson wins here and she'll be uh, sharing the back pages with this young 14-year-old. Quite a story. Fifteen. Love. It's been 24 years since Britain had a girls' junior champion. There's uh, plenty of mental glue that she has as well. Yeah. I don't think she'll be playing junior tennis much longer. Maybe another nine months maximum. Ah! Ah! What is she, 15 uh, January next year? So I would imagine by this time next year she'll be playing satellites. It's wide. 30, 30. Really hope now that the sake of everybody's nerves and the edges of their seats, Robson takes this break point.
for an hour and 31 minutes. She'll serve for the title. Remarkable out here on court one. Miss Watson leads by five games to one, final six. Thank you. Fifteen love. Three points now stand between Robson and the title. Championship points for Robson. Not yet. Forty fifteen. Robson just turns away and smiles. for a junior girls champion they have won now in Laura Robson what a moment for the 14 year old and with that question over the last two weeks a star has been born here at Wimbledon and she's British it's Laura Robson It's quite a moment here on court number one, a packed court number one, the Union Jack flying high for once. Laura Robson has just won the Junior Girls Championship at the tender age of 14. Quite a, a remarkable display from Robson. said it all for Laura Robson. Martin Bock, her coach, very proud as her mother. Kathy will be as well. And Jones will make the presentation. Jones, of course, a former champion here in 1969. He's singles champion here in 1969 from Great Britain. And Jones. Sure and Jones thought that this moment would arrive either. Firstly, this year's runners up from Thailand, Nopa One, Lachi Wakam. Nopa One, Lachi Wakam, a worthy runner up. She fought back bravely. There's a second of breakdown. 
and in the end was outplayed by Robson in the final set. That's a trophy that she will save her, I'm sure, but she can't. to the champion. And the now British the 2008 champion. Junior Girls Wimbledon champion from Great Britain, Miss Laura Robson. Soaking up the applause, soaking up the moment, Laura Robson. Potentially it's the start of what could be a great career for the young Brit. Again, as we've been saying right the way through, important not to get carried away, but it's tough not to when you see a, such a, a young prospect producing the type of tennis sound that she's shown us this afternoon. Yeah, it's wonderful, simply wonderful. Uh, unfortunately, everyone is going to get really carried away, and I, and I totally understand that. The game is there. She's a wonderful athlete. She's precocious. She's intelligent. She clearly loves tennis. She's a very hard worker. Back at the National Training Centre, that's what everyone's been telling me before this match. And in many ways, I think she expected to win a junior slam. Maybe not this year, um, but certainly that's what she thought she was going to do and if she wants to be a top player and I'm sure she does she actually needs to be winning one at 14 or 15 so all I can say is uh, Laura Robson she's uh, right on track isn't she yeah, she certainly is